The female prostate is real. The female prostate is an organ, not a spot. And the female prostate functions. I don't even know why we call it a female prostate. Men's nipples aren't called male nipples, even though nipples in men really have no function whatsoever. In Europe, men have breasts. No, most European languages simply don't have a word for chest. We just call them breasts. And they really are the same of those of women, except that they have less fat or silicones. So, like men, women have a prostate. But there are some gender differences though. So for clarity's sake, let's just stick with the name female prostate. The anatomus Ranieri Graaf described and illustrated a set of glands and ducts surrounding the female urethra that he called the female prostate. He did this in 1672, so it merely took 330 years for the female prostate to be officially acknowledged and recognized by the Federative Committee of International Anatomical Terminology in 2002. Despite this recognition, few, if any, medical schools teach its students about this organ, resulting that most doctors do not know about it, leaving it up to journalists and Google to filter what people learn and know. It's quite common that certain body parts in women are believed not to be functioning well or even non-existent. To illustrate, women's brains were believed to be unable to think properly until 1893 when the first country in the world, New Zealand, gave women the right to vote. Since 1920, women are allowed to graduate from Oxford University, until 1971 when Switzerland allowed women to stand in office. So it's only since four decades ago that it became widely accepted that women actually have some brain power up in here. Women were were unable to orgasm until the sexual revolution in the 1960s. It's really quite common for people to believe that the female body is less capable than that of men. So part of the reason why I have started Intimacy.box is to inform you about the capabilities of the female body, particularly when it comes to the taboo-dominated, culturally blindfolded, female sexual and intimate body. Like in men, the female prostate consists of glands and ducts that release prostatic fluid into the urethral canal, which is basically the pee tube. The female prostate encompasses the urethral canal and has about 40 glands and ducts. As you've seen, the female prostate is a whole organ, which is why I resist to call it a G-spot. It really is more than a little pleasure spot. It actually produces and ejaculates prostatic fluid. I will tell you more about female ejaculation next week. As of September 2015, I will give online workshops for you to learn in your private space all about the female prostate and female ejaculation. Until then, put yourself on the mailing list, follow me on Twitter or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Ciao!